Hey everybody, greetings from Los Angeles. We are in day 47 of our lockdown. I hope you are staying safe and sane and healthy, and I hope you're listening to all the health experts, even if your state government leaders are not. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, but I will say thank you. Thank you to everyone who bought my book, Sub Liberty, to everyone who's reading as, as we speak, um, to the folks who left really lovely Amazon reader reviews, and to um, the folks who sent me all the nice messages. The, the feedback on the book has really exceeded my expectations. It's very heartwarming and gratifying, and so I say thank you again. Now, if you have not bought the book, <laughs> there's a chapter in the book called The Brady Debacle, in which I uh, detail at length the time I got Susan Olson fired from her radio show after she called me a faggot. Now, you're going to have to buy the book to read that chapter, but today I'm going to read uh, one last almost live reading of the chapter that follows that. <laughs> it's a sampling of the more whimsical pieces of hate mail I res received as a result of that experience. And because the language is just so vile and so evil that even I cannot read it, I have enlisted the aid of some of my friends and favorite actors to give me a hand. <laughs> I've gone back through my Facebook message request folder to share a sampling of the hate mail I received during the Brady debacle. What a lovely stroll down bad memory lane it's been. Many people were quite concise, summarizing their feelings for me in a single word. Now that's talented writing. Douche, faggot, asshole, coward, stupid, drama queen. Okay, that's two words. I was also called every synonym for female genitalia there is. Some writers took time to compose actual paragraphs, and judging from the results, it took some real effort. Now I almost feel guilty for not reading and replying at the time. Almost. So, here are just a few of the lighter bon mots and enough of this high road bullshit, how I should have replied at the time. Wow, you're an embarrassing excuse for a human. Typical, hypocritical, disgusting, dumb o crat. What do you think of when you look in the mirror? Hey, Michael, it depends on the day. Uh, this morning, for example, I looked in the mirror and I thought, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be so stridently anti-plastic surgery. Tomorrow, who knows, that I need to trim my nose hair, maybe? What do you think when you gaze upon your reflection? Thank God I'm white. Why can't I lose my virginity? <laughs> rotten ass fucking loser. Your cock sucking life worthless. Your liberal values working terrible in Europe. What's my crooked liar Hillary lost? USA! Let's make America great again. Thanks, comrade. Give my regards to Putin. You may now resume chasing moose and squirrel. And by the way, keep your goddamn hands off the USA. You are a total piece of garbage and a groupthink fascist. Screenshot this and send it to your CIA bosses. Good luck, slave. My bosses at the CIA just replied, sadly, you simply aren't worth their time. They are far too busy cleaning up Trump's messes to investigate yet another petty little nitwit who lives in her mother's basement. You are a filthy liberal-minded cunt. You want to openly call someone out and then block retaliation? You are some special kind of stupid, aren't you? Why don't you go fucking drown? Save this country from another closed-minded leftist that wants unicorn farts and butterflies for everyone. Grow a set, you coward. Make yourself a pair of concrete shoes and, and feed some fish. Make better use of flesh and bone that way. I hope all you whiny little twats get what you got coming. There will come a day in this country when you and those like you will be fed to the wolves. You are a horrible writer and a worse actor. <laughs> Concrete shoes and feed some fish? Oh, Dustin, and you say I'm a horrible writer? However, I am impressed. You did your homework. Apparently, you spent the evening of December 12th watching my show. I appreciate your time and the views. But, since I've been acting for 30 plus years, apparently the people who matter do not share your opinion. And honestly, you're a bad actor. That's the best you can do? Who do you think I am, Madeline Ashton? <laughs>
Thanks for spamming my news feed, whiner boy. You'd shut down the whole world outside your echo chamber. Then they'd pitch you headfirst off a five-story building. Oh, Deborah, I am guilty of many things. Controlling your news feed is not one of them. Go to settings on Facebook to fix that. And yes, the killing of Middle Eastern gay men by ISIS is monstrous. But I'm more likely to be killed by a white American pseudo-Christian with an assault rifle, a needle dick, and a desperate need to feel superior. You need mental health! I, I agree. In fact, who doesn't need mental health? And as a Trump fan, you move to the front of the line. But as I doubt we'll see increased access to mental health under Trump, you and I are both shit out of luck. <laughs> You are a fucking fag with a swastika pick. Talk about racism. I think just because of those two facts and a digital copy of your Facebook page, I'm going to start the biggest hate war against you. You're nothing more than a pathetic, racist, gay pig. Well, come on. It's been over three fucking years. I'm still waiting for that big hate war thing to begin. What's taking so long? Meanwhile, I find it curious that you capitalize the word fag but no other word. Can one make a Freudian slip in writing? Come out. A man doesn't hit a woman. Not physically, not verbally. Be positive. Who raised you? Wonderful parents who taught me to respect all living creatures. LGBT, women, Muslims, blacks, the disabled, Mexicans, as well as the rule of law. If you want more information than that, you'll have to buy my book. You're not going to milk this cow through the fence. Oh, P.S. I do find it ironic. You lecturing me on respecting women when you champion a self-proclaimed sexual predator? Perhaps the real question should be, who the fuck raised you, Chris? While I deplore any deplorable kind of slurs against any community, I'm wondering if you were this uptight about Alec Baldwin and his vile use of the F-word. Or, or should we assume its use is forgivable as long as the person using it is of the correct political orthodoxy? Is that why Baldwin got absolution and forgiveness from the priesthood of the Hollywood liberal establishment? Is that why people look the other way? I think so. And your response to Susan is indicative of that fact. You are neither a martyr or a victim. Well, unfortunately, I am not the official spokesperson for the priesthood of the Hollywood liberal establishment. Hell, I can't even find where they hold their meetings. So I can only speak for myself. Alec Baldwin has never called me the F word. And trust me, if he did, I'd slap his message all over Facebook too. And P.S. You got one thing right. I am neither martyr nor victim. I'm just a patriotic American. <laughs> You are an overt, hypocritical, lefty puke. Your one line exposed yourself. Why would a station hire a pro-Trump supporter? I don't know. Maybe the same reason CNN and MSNBC hire radical, anti-white, anti-American racists who lie, spin, and are overt in their hatred for the right. As I said, the reason I loathe lefty pukes like you is hypocrisy. And by the way, any man, and I question that, who hyphenates his last name is a pussy. Settle down, Trumper. I wonder, do you have the guts to call the NFL's Maurice Jones Drew or Ben Jarvis Green Ellis a pussy? Go ahead. I dare you. I'll even hold your generic beer. Um, P.S. Anyone who doesn't sign their name to a piece of hate mail is a pussy. <laughs> I hope you got enough preparation age for that ass hurt of yours, you degenerate, anal invading piece of shit. Susan rocks! I hope you enjoy eight years of President Donald Trump. Anal invading is hyphenated. You know, like my last name. You're something else. You'll get what you deserve when you die. Until then, better make the most of it. Well, Jason, you win the prize for lamest hate mail writer. Or maybe you're just incredibly profound. Or maybe you work for a fortune cookie factory. I, or maybe you just enjoy writing affirmations. I literally cannot tell your intent, and that's just bad writing. Oh, and it's your. Being a sodomite is your legacy.
Well, sadly, Howard, working simple-minded stumps like you into a homophobic froth is my legacy these days. And then, like money in the gutter, I, I stumble upon something like this amongst the dog poop, dead leaves, and used condoms. <laughs> Truth is, until the news in my local newspaper, I never heard of you. But now, I want to say thank you. And I have no words.